On the breakfast this morning, barely three weeks after President Buhari signed the Electoral Act Amendment Bill into law for a high court sitting in Umwahia, Habia State has nullified Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Act. We look at the implications of this on the program this morning. In Niger State, reports have it that bandits have taken over 12 local government areas. What is going on in Niger State and what are security implications for Nigeria's North? We'll talk about this with an expert. Also, the latest headlines from the front pages of the National Dailies. These and more ahead on The Breakfast. Very good morning to you. Welcome to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. My name is Kofi Bartels and of course alongside Mercy Bopo. It's a fantastic brand new week right here, um, reaching you from our center in Victoria and Lagos. We have interesting conversations ahead for you. Of course, we'll be speaking with our guest analysts, very interesting uh, conversations and uh, we have the best of the best analysts for you on those segments. Let's start things off with a trending segment. Uh, lots to talk about today. We'll begin with uh, um, the uh, visit of former Nigerian footballers to uh, presidential aspirant and uh, um, former governor of Lagos State. I'm talking about Bola Ahmed Tinubu. A lot has been said about this on social media. And um, of course, uh, with the 2023 elections around the corner, um, a lot of visits are being paid by different interest groups to uh, aspirants and those who would like to be president of Nigeria. These aspirants have also paid a different visit to, um, you know, traditional rulers, leaders of thought and opinion leaders in various communities, governments and political governors and political leaders across uh, the country. And um, so it was um, a bit of a surprise and a shocker to a lot of Nigerians to see the likes of uh, Kanu Wanko, the likes of Austin J.J. Okocha, the likes of Taribo West, the likes of Peter Rufai, seated on the same table in the compound of Bola Abitin, eulogizing him, praising him, and uh, tongues began to wag. You know. But before we go into what people were saying, <laughs> let's just uh, roll the tape and, and see what transpired there when these ex Nigerian internationals, former Super Eagles players, paid a visit to the man they call the Jagaban Bogo, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinbu. Watch this. You are accompanied here with millions and half hours for this nation. They will put their blood in line to see how Nigeria can be restored back to this place of that glory. Amen. It's incredible that we hide him under your brow. We speak to the four corners of this nation. I command them to be arrested. That the American Tinubu movement will be established. All right, and indeed, um, we have some comments uh, coming in from, from social media. I'd like to go through a few of them. Uh, but people, you know, uh, criticizing um, Kano Wanko, you know, he gave a speech, and there's some things he said during that speech, uh, one of which was that um, uh, uh, 22 years ago when uh, he was looking for money to start the Kano Heart Foundation, it was uh, Bola Abetinubu who gave him money to, to, to start, that he went knocking on doors, he went asking for support from various people. Um, he didn't get that support. And the person who was able to support him and say, take some little money to start up the Kanu Heart Foundation uh, was the then governor of Lagos State, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. A lot of criticism coming the way of uh, these former Nigerian internationals. Um, you have some people saying that, uh, you know, uh, they're they are hungry. You know, Austin J.J. Kocha is hungry. Um, Taribo West is hungry. Nguan Kwokano is hungry. Uh, Victor Ipeba is hungry. Peter Rufai is hungry. And you saw um, Taribo West there praying because uh, he's a pastor. Um, after he retired, he went into ministry. Even whilst he was still playing, he had a church in Milan, um, is what I'm told. Uh, so that was Taribo West praying you know, some fire prayers for Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And so some Nigerians have said, these guys are hungry, and that's why uh, they went. You can see Tabo West praying some fire prayers right there. He, he is a firebrand minister. You know, he has churches in Milan and other parts. And, um, you know, so, so people are saying he's hungry. 
Um, I wish we could listen to what Kanu said. Um, but, you know, some people said, these guys are hungry. Now, do you believe that Kanu Wanko is hungry? Do you believe Ikbeba is hungry? Do you believe Austin Jeje Kocha went to see Tinubu so he could, he could get money? Do you believe Taribo West went to see Tinubu so that they could, he could get some money? These are the questions we have to, we have, we have to answer. Um, I believe we'll be able to listen to the response of Kanu Wanko to the social media comments in a bit. And um, if that is... Okay, I'm told we don't have, but Tinubu uh, missed what one commenter, commentator said on, on social media. Tinubu really knows how to play his card and how to fish the elites to be on his side. But things like this shouldn't bother you if you have a mind of your own. Um, that Kano and Okocha is en are endorsing someone doesn't mean you have to do the same. Um, these guys have nothing to lose, unlike you, um, is what... Uh, one person said. Another person said, former Super Eagles players paid Tinbu a visit and gave him their endorsement for 2023. Kanu, Okocha, etc. They were present. They also endorsed Yaya Bello late last year, if you remember. <laughs> um, even Mr. Tinbu is surprised at the vigor of the prayers from Taribo West. <laughs> Do you believe that he is surprised? My, oh my. Um, someone quotes um, Kanu was saying, without Tinbu, there will be no Kanu Health Foundation, um, etc. But the thing is this, the thing is this. Um, Kano has put out a video um, online, a comment online, uh, where he said that, um, what, how, first of all, that Nigerians should not comment on what they don't know about. You know, that what they went there to do was to simply um, pay a visit to Bola Abetinbu as he marks his 70th birthday. And they also went to see him, to intimate him of plans you know, to, to pay, play novelty football match in his honor for his 70th birthday. And that's all they went there to do. Um, and what they went there to do had nothing to do with his presidential ambition. It had nothing to do with his uh, political aspirations. You know, that they all have their different political parties. And Kanu, in that video, he recorded it, you know, in his car. He said Nigerians should go vote for whoever they want to vote for. And he also said that you have to get your permanent voters card and he said this time vote for the right person is what he said this time vote for the right person so it turns out that uh, people have been getting this whole thing wrong we just saw pictures of uh, former fo uh, footballers sitting down with Bola Betinbu and then concluded that they went to endorse him uh, we saw a video of Tarabo West praying for Tinbu and concluded that they went to endorse him because they are hungry listen to me people these guys are not hungry JJ Okocha is not hungry. I don't know how much Tinubu will give to Okocha for him to sit down and endorse him. You know, uh, Kano Wanko is not hungry. Victor Ekpeba is not hungry. You know, um, 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 Peter Rufai is certainly not hungry. These guys have endorsement deals with billions, millions of naira. They have uh, assets with millions of naira. I do not know if, um, <laughs> like someone was saying on Twitter, if. Um, uh, a type of West frittered away the money he made with the likes of AC Milan, the likes of Inter Milan, the likes of Derby County in the English Premier League. I don't know if the money is finished. I doubt it, it is. Um, so you can't be poor and be setting up a church in Milan, you know. Um, let, so let's not go into the endorsement deals because we don't endorse any company here. But these guys are certainly not poor. And uh, I think we should go with what Kano Wanko has said, that it was a visit to, um, you know, felicitate with, Bola Metinubu on his 70th birthday to wish him well, to pray for him. And also to, to, um, to you know, say they want to play a novelty match in his honor. I think that is, that is okay. And we shouldn't uh, read more into that uh, than meets the eye. It's still a trending segment on The Breakfast. Let's move to another one. Um, not a few persons have, have said they want to leave the country. Some people have said, you know what, uh, they will stay put in Nigeria for now to see who wins the 2023 elections. And if somebody whose head is not correct, according to what people say, some people are saying, wins the 2023 elections, they will vermoose. Well, one of such people, um, one person rather, who is saying that if a certain person wins the election and leave the country, uh, surprisingly, is the chieftain of uh, the People's Democratic Party, uh, Chief Bode George. He is also the former chairman of the Nigerian uh, Ports Authority. Now, he was speaking at a press briefing and he says, guess what? I will leave Nigeria if Tinubu becomes president. I will leave Nigeria if Tinubu 
becomes president. Now, this is really, really surprising, um, you know, because you would never expect someone as old as this, as uh, accomplished as this, who is living a relatively comfortable life, um, to, to say he wants to leave the country. But he said, and I quote, at that press briefing, I'm happy the president has signed the new electoral bill uh, if by whatever chance he gets to the villa, um, that's talking about uh, Tinubu, I won't be part of this country. I'm not joking. I can go to Ghana and be watching with binoculars from afar. <laughs> you, you will see what will happen. He went on to say, quote, and I'm quoting him now, this is Alpha Beta in Lagos. He will create some Alpha or Alta Beta somewhere to carry um, your money. His wife will now be Senate President. His son will be Governor of Lagos. His daughter will be Ialoja of Nigeria. What has he done to prove that he deserves to be honored by anybody in this country? Is what uh, Bode George is saying. Of course, um, the relationship between both of them is well uh, documented. And uh, it's, it's also known that there is no love lost um, between both persons, uh, both politicians. You know. So this is what Bode George has been saying. Of course, uh, the reactions coming online to this particular uh, um, uh, uh, statement by Bode George. Some people say, "No, what? Uh, are you a part of the problem? Why are you running to your party was in 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 power for 16 years? So why why are you saying you run away?" And the supporters of Tinubu have also not taken this lightly um, with the accusations coming from uh, Bode George uh, regarding Alpha Beta and what they've done in Lagos State and saying that oh, if Tinubu becomes president of Nigeria, it no longer be Alpha Beta but Alta Beta. He's going to take over the whole country, make his wife Senate president and his son governor of Lagos and all this. So you have, you know, supporters of both political parties going against and for uh, Chief Body Judge. Interesting uh, times. Let's move on to our next uh, trending story this time. Uh, something that seems a bit bizarre uh, to not a few Nigerians. The donation of security vehicles to Niger. Niger is a country um, to the north of Nigeria. Now, who donated the security vehicles? The government of the country. And this time, we're talking about Zamfara State. The Zamfara State governor has donated five new Hilux cars, um, Hilux pickup trucks to the government of Niger Republic for special security border patrol. Um, this was contained in a statement issued in Gosau on Saturday and signed by the press secretary to the governor, uh, Bello Matawale. Uh, the embattled governor, Bello Matawale, he is Jamilu uh, Bernin Magaji. Now, according to the, the press secretary to the governor, that's Bernin Magaji, um, he says the nation was made in fulfillment of Governor Matawale's promise to provide Niger, Niger with patrol cars and other security logistics in the fight against banditry. And you know, if you've been following our discussions right here on Plus TV Africa, that uh, Zamfara State is one of the states uh, affected by insecurity in the country. And of course, the border between Nigeria and Niger, the border between Nigeria and Chad, the border between Nigeria, northern Nigeria, that is, and Cameroon, um, is quite porous and has been used by either bandits or terrorists. We're talking about Boko Haram. We're talking about the Islamic State in West Africa province, Iswap. So this is um, uh, sort of a surprise, but not a surprise, because Zamfara State has been under attack by bandits and terrorists. Um, the vehicles, according to the governor, will be used for border patrol. And of course, um, we're looking at places like Maradi and other sections of the Niger Republic that shares a border uh, with Zamfara State. Uh, Niger Republic doesn't only share a border with Zamfara State, it also shares a border with uh, Katsina State, where the president is from, which has also been a recipient of several bandits attack in recent times, and it also shares a border with uh, Sokoto State. So these are three states that share borders with, uh, with Niger Republic. And according to the reports coming from the press secretary to the governor, uh, Matawale, they are saying, he's saying that um, these vehicles will be used to patrol not just the border with, uh, Niger, uh, with uh, Zamfara State, but also that with Katsina and Sokoto State. But some persons have said, why should we take our money to go give another country? Why should we take our money to go help another country? And you've had these uh, uh, comments coming online. Um, the the, the, the part of Niger Republic that received this, this, this uh, uh, donation is called Maradi uh, Region in, in Niger Republic. So the governor of Maradi Region is the one who is receiving these cars. And um, 
of course, you have opinions going both ways. But uh, personally, my submission is, you know what? Nigeria is also a recipient of uh, international assistance. Nigeria is a recipient of international donations. Over the years, it's been coming. We, it's still ongoing as we speak. Um, if a governor feels that uh, he can secure his, say, his state better by donating to a neighboring state in a neighboring country, just five cars, um, I, think, I think we can live with that. Anyway, that's the much you can take on the trending segment right here on The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. When we come back from this break, we'll look at the latest headlines from the National Dailies in After Press. Please stay with us.